Welcome to Race Day Preview on YARB TV. I am Anthony Johnson. This is the final leg of the classic, the Jamaica Derby. Interested times ahead is the favorite on what we have seen so far. He was the champion two-year-old of 2023 racing season. He finishes second in the 2000 Guinness behind stable companion California Gold in the season's first classic, but went on to win the St. Ledger to stamp his name as the favorite for the Jamaica Derby. The climax of the 2024 classic season is almost on us. Wherever you are in the world watching this, Whatever time zone you're on, stay with us. This could be very, very special. Drama? Surely a derby can generate a spine-tingling sense of anticipation here at Cayman as Park Race Shack in Portmore, Jamaica. It's one of the all-time great lineup. Interested time ahead. The winner of the St. Ledger against the 1,000 Guinness winner Ron Julie Run and the 2,000 Guinness winner California Gold. Over 2 minutes and 30 seconds to justify a lifetime of work done by these equine athletes. This is the 104th running of the Jamaica Derby 2024. It is time for a new name and a new star to etch in Jamaica's Derby history. The stage is set to sense of anticipation wherever you are watching this in the world i really hope you are enjoying these images and our huge thanks to the subscribers around the world who subscribe to this youtube channel yard B tv without whom we wouldn't be having such an interesting jamaica derby highlight thanks for your support thanks for supporting this youtube channel yard B tv Wherever you are, wherever you live, let's take time to savor the contest to come on Tuesday, the Jamaica Derby. In some way, you might think it's 11 starter line up on screen, but they represent so much more. Perhaps their combined journey to get here, with trainers, groom, exercise rider and their jockeys putting in the hard work, sometimes sleepless night, to see all is right with their horses can be a symbol of hope and inspiration a timely reminder the power of the human spirit to endure to believe and to dream sit back relax and savor the moment this is the 104th running of the jamaica derby this is race day preview on yard b tv derby special edition i am anthony johnson Welcome to Race Day Preview. We are looking at the Derby Day feature event, the Jamaica Derby, the 104th running of the Jamaica Derby. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever our content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share, like and share this YouTube channel, Yard TV. I am Anthony Johnson. Thank you very much. Tomorrow will be the 104th running of the Jamaica Derby. Please make note the post time for the first event is 11.30 a.m. 11.30 a.m. Excited days ahead. The post time for the Derby is 5.45 p.m. Please make note that will be the 11th and final race on the 11th race card. Please make note the Derby, 5.45 p.m. This Derby is worthwhile watching. Please remember now to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard B T V. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever our content is dropped, you'll be notified. And thanking you all for my subscribers. You have done a good job. And all who are watching and have not subscribers yet, please remember to press the subscription button. The door is open. Let us go to the Derby, the 11th race, the 545 p.m., the running of the Jamaica Derby. They go 12 furlongs for native bred, three year old Colts and Phillies. And they go 12 furlongs, as we say, 11 declare. Number one, Zulu Warrior, 25 to 1, a morning line, 
was a winner, breaking our maiden and last on the 7th of July. We'll have it difficult against these up in grade number two crown chaser. This horse was second the last time beaten. Three lengths be an interesting time ahead in the same ledger. Has been tuned to the minute by trainer Anthony Baba Nunes. And this horse here is programmed by Shane Canterman Ellis. He's the jockey who is riding this horse. Came one second in the, the St. Ledger. We have to respect Crown Chaser. He's bred to get the, the trip. The trip won't be any problem. Number three, Run Julie Run. She's the flying filly. She's the 1,000 Guinness winner. And she also won the Portmore. She clocked up one minute. 33 and two fifth of a second in the Portmore was a runaway winner in the 2000 in the 1000 Guinness year and clocking even a faster time than the 2000 Guinness year. Won by California Gold was third beating a three and a quarter lengths on last over 10 furlong. Will enjoy that preparation. It's coming to run this filly year. Could be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure. We see on Wednesday, the 31st of the seven, this horse gallop, this filly gallop, six furlong in one minute, 14 and three fifth of a second. Number four, Matt the Rome here was a disappointed, was a disappointed, um, Rod had a disappointed run in the St. Ledger, came back and won on last over nine and a half furlongs here. It's tuned to the minute by his trainer here, Shaquille Roman here. Expect a good run from Macam Rome without actually winning this derby. Number five, King Pie here. This horse actually threw up the gallop in deep stretch and last will have it all to do against these. Number six, the the Champion two year old of 2023. Interested time ahead was second in the Guinness. Was the winner of the Kingston in one minute 33 and one fifth of a second and came back on the 7th of July when winning the St. Ledger in two minute nine and one fifth of a second. Very easily here. We have to respect this horse. This horse will be very, very difficult to beat. Interesting time ahead here. Has been working very well in the morning here. We see on Wednesday. Here on Wednesday, on Tuesday, sorry, the, the 30th of the seven, get up seven furlong, 123, easy, 33 and two fifth of a second, very easily here, has been steadily prepared by Jason Acosta here. This horse is well bred here, and getting the chip off 12 furlong won't be an issue. Number seven, oil machine broker made me in one minute 57 and three fifth of a second here, a very fast time here. This oil machine here is bred to get this chip here. And this horse here could be improving at the right time, right in time for the derby. And this oil machine could be there to figure in the exotic number eight California crown. This horse is by Ed's Fun out of Big Dream by Wizard of Gold. This horse here actually showed up the gallop here on last coming turn furlong, but I'm still convinced that getting this 12 furlong won't be an issue for this California crown. This horse is well bred here by Ed's Fun out of Dream Big by Wizard of Gold here, has been trained properly now to get this strip of 12 furlong by Jason Acosta. And based on the pedigree here, do not scoff at California crown come tomorrow in the derby. Number nine, Providence is seen making late headway in most of his run. Run here is last three run. And this horse is bred to get this trip. Has been tuned to the minute by Jason Acosta here. And this horse, Providence here, will be come running on in deep stretch. Keep this Providence on the right side. All the horses out of the Jason Acosta barn, we have to treat them with a lot of respect. Number 10, Bold Move here. Coming this trip will have it all to do. I don't think Bold Move will enjoy this trip. So it's best left alone. While the X factor in the race is number 11, Captain Sparrow to be partnered by Edgar Zayas here. And we have to say welcome to Jamaica, Edgar Zayas here. He and Alex Cruz is also here to, 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 to ride at Cayman Spa. Come tomorrow afternoon, Captain Sparrow tuned to the minute by Anthony Baba Nunes. This horse here by Survey Stamp out of Rocky Mistress by a war marshal will enjoy every inch of this gallop. And if judiciously ridden by Edgar Zayas, this horse could create an upset in the derby come tomorrow afternoon. This is a wide open Jamaica derby here. Because when you look at the X factor here, interested time ahead, he's the horse to beat. Crown Chaser 
is tuned to the minute by Anthony Baba Nunes. The Flying Philly, Run Julie Run, is back here for revenge. Number seven, we do not know how good this oil machine. Pluck off, nine and a half, nine furlongs, 25 yard, 157 three. That is not a boy time. Number eight, California Crown. Show the last run through the window. This horse is bred to get this trip. Do not be fooled, people. I'm telling you, number nine Providence always come running on here. And we'll enjoy every inch of this gallop. And we see the likes of Captain Sparrow who will be closing hands over fist. We'll enjoy every inch of this gallop here. And we have to keep Captain Sparrow on the right side. Captain Sparrow will be very, very interested when they come to the furlong pool come tomorrow afternoon here in this this derby here so the, where we're looking at the derby we're looking at the derby i'm taking my i'm taking number six interesting time ahead to get the better of number three that is ron julie ron my third choice is number two crown chaser and my fourth choice is number 11 captain sparrow so please remember now, as we say, this horse, California Crown, do not scoff at this horse. This horse has the pedigree. We know that the, when the Jason Acosta barn, they, they, they have quality horses over there. Do not underestimate California Gold in this derby. If judiciously ridden by Philip Parchment, this horse will have a fighting chance. Please do not be deceived by his last run so there we have it racing fans for the the running of the the lineup for the jamaica derby the preview on the jamaica derby and please make note the post time is 5 45 pm the running of the jamaica derby and thanking you for tuning in to yard b tv let we'll be right back so and after we we'll be right back and then we'll be looking at the other 10 races on the race card. Thank you for tuning in to race day preview on Yard B TV. This is Derby Day special. Please remember now to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard B TV. And please remember to press the notification bell. And please remember now, people, I'm asking you, whenever the, the ads advertisement comes up, please remember to watch the advertisement. Watch the advertisement and let us build this YouTube channel. This is how Yard TV make their money. So we are imploring you, please, guys, to watch the, the advertisement, the ads. Do not skip over the ads. Watch it for me, please and thanks. We'll be right back to discuss the rest, the further 10 race on the card. Welcome back, race, race. Welcome back, racing fans. The race day preview, and remember the post time for the first day on that for the first race on Derby Day is twelve is eleven thirty a.m. Eleven thirty a.m. Please make note the early scratch is running running on the crawl in race number five. Scratch number two, the first time runner Bobby Too Bad. Bobby Too Bad in race number five is out. So take out number two, Bobby Too Bad. The is the that is race number five. Bobby Too Bad is the early scratch. The first event on the 11 race card is for three year one and up, optional claiming, 1 million to 800, 10 declared. They go six and a half furlongs here in this event. Number one, Bogatti will have it difficult against these not fancy there. Number two, Big Big Daddy here has been slumming in 
open allowance as dropping class now. We'll have a fighting chance. Shane Cantam and Ellis is in the irons here. Keep Big Big Daddy on the right side. Number three, Colorado Ranger up in grade is very fit, super fit just now. And we have to keep Colorado Ranger on the right side. Number four, Brinks. The all side thing they will all have to meet. Was a winner on last. That was on the 18th of May when winning a five furlong zone in one minute, two and three fifth of a second. Since then, Brinks has been looking up at exercise. We see on Wednesday, the 17th of the 7th, Gallop 4 furlongs out the straight in 49.2. Came back on Monday, the 22nd of the 7th, Canter 9 furlong. Tuesday, Canter 9 furlong. Came back on Wednesday, Gallop out the straight. 4 furlong in 48.3. And we see they're chatting. And on Tuesday, the 30th of the 7th, Canter 8 furlong, 9 furlongs. Wednesday, Canter 8. Thursday, the 1st of the 8th, Canter 9 furlongs. Finish up his work on Friday, the 2nd of the 8th. Two furlongs in 25 2. Those work are winning work. These are the words that show me that Brinks is back and Brinks will be very difficult to beat here. This horse has the back class, he possesses the back class to destroy this field. Brinks will be very difficult to beat. Number five, Randy Bangali, has been working very well. His dung and gray deer has been showing some lackluster performance after that emphatic win on the 15th of October, 2023. Here, this horse has been looking up. It's done in grade here, six and a half furlong, right up large, around at Bangala Alley. We see on the 23rd of June, fifth by six length, we are inspired force, Milos and Coco Mo, oh, and finish up the five and a half in one minute, eight and three. Big, good enough for this class. So based on what I'm seeing, Rana Bangala will be there with a fighting chance. Number six, unruly dude, not fancied. Number seven, burn notice. We'll have to giddy up to get to win this event here, but we'll run a, a decent race without actual winning here. Number eight, one like it, not fancy there. Number nine, KP's choice. Could be the fastest in the lineup here. And as chain statement now taking order from Donovan Clark here, the strainer is four and oh, but we are hoping that this horse here with the change of stable and the choice of rider, this horse could set off in front and prove very elusive. He is a tactical speed in this event, so we have to respect this KP's choice. But for me, I'm taking number four, Brinks, to open the card on Derby Day to get the better of number nine, KP's choice. My third choice is number five, Rani Bangala, and my fourth choice is number two, Big Big Daddy. The second event, there you go. Five and a half furlong with strict allowance for native bread, three year old, numbers of two, and imported three year old and up maiden. And we have six declare. Number one, Justin Big Time was a winner on the 22nd of June by four and a half length. The time, one minute, 10 and 10 seconds flat here. This horse can't do nothing but to improve right now. He came back over the seventh furlong on the 7th of July, but was scratched prior to that race. Has been tuned up to the minute by Gary Sabrati. Edgar Zayas is in the irons here. Welcoming Edgar Zayas from out of Gulfstream Park, Florida. This just in big time could have a fighting chance and this horse could be improving at the right time. Number two, first offense, six by four and a half lengths. Behind Crypto Girl on last. We'll have to give you up to win this event. Number three, Buckle Angel did not finish on last. Show that last run through the window. Buckle Angel can sprint because, as we see, the 23rd of March, over five furlongs round. This also was second by four lengths here and got the race in the stewards room, was racing prominent in split of 24 48 here. So, based on what I'm seeing here, this horse can grab them in deep stretch if the speed collapse. Number four, the up in great, a breath of fresh air, was a winner on last. Brinda by Omar Walker. Omar Walker is back in the irons here. This, a breath of fresh air, could make it two in a row. Let us see. This horse is improving and has tactical speed. Number five, unbelievable force, was a beaten two to five favorite. Pick up the gallop at the furlong pole and actually we faded out of it. Fifth by two lengths will was it need of tough run? I think that run can bring him on here. Keep this horse on the right side. While number six, J Spec, is the horse they will all have to be possesses tactical speed here and will set off in front and prove very difficult to beat. I'm taking J Speak to win this event to get the better of number five, unbelievable for us. And my third choice is number three, Battle Angel. Moving right along. 
to the third event. And the third event, they go. Seven furlong is the maiden special weight for native bred three year old. And we have seven declare. Number one, Tiffany Blue, second by half length behind a breath of fresh air, was seen making a rapid progress in deep stretch over five and a half furlongs by Sunshine and Shadow, by Great Fate, by Forest Danger. This horse is getting, it will enjoy this five, this seven furlong, this, this extension in distant here, and this extension in distant could be the doctor's order. Number two, Solar Black, very poor performance from this horse and will need more time. Number three, never is running some decent race. Is is basically his form is um is he get he, he race prominent in most of his race here. So this horse is improving here. Keep this number three never on the right side. Number four, secret mission not fancied. Number five, Dove needs more time. Number six, immeasurable joy was a half a lead loser on, on, on Saturday here and will be is back with Angel Cruz in the Irons here. Immeasurable joy could turn around that form and be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure. Number seven. The Bay Machine needs more time. But for me, I'm taking number one, Tiffany Blue, to make no mistake to get the better of number six, the Dangerous Immeasurable Joy, and my third choice to complete the trifecta. A good run expect now, expected now from number three, never coming out of the Valver Marler, the um, Michael Marler camp. Moving right along, the fourth event on the Derby Day. Yeah, it's the 2024 Independence Day Trophy. And remember, Tomorrow is in um Tuesday is Independence Day. Yeah, there you go. Seven furlongs here. And it's restricted allowance two for native bread three year old. Donors of two. And then forty three year old maiden. Seven declare. Seven furlongs there you go. Number one, first grandson, not fancied against these. Number two, undisclosed location by casual trick by bilingual by fearless vision was seen making rapid headway over five furlongs. We'll enjoy this summer furlong. Edgar Zayad's in the iron. This undisclosed location will be very difficult to beat. Number three, goodbye firefly. This horse here was beaten four by four by four by six lengths over the five furlong straight on debut the time was 59 three finish up in one minute and four fifths of a second this horse is by mucho mucho man by shanghai lady by shanghai bobby will enjoy this seven furlongs here and can only improve from that run we see on the 10 to 31st of the seven this horse got up five and a half furlongs here in one minute nine and three fifth of a second the first five furlong in one minute two and four fifth of a second this horse is working very well and will be very difficult to be number four affair will be very 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 is very very fit and should be there about at the business end here was second beaten a length behind crypto girl on last and keep affair on the right side number five crypto Cleopatra Cream, not fancied against these. Number six, Kaylin Melody has been working very well. Keep Kaylin Melody on the right side. The horse I think they'll all have to beat, though, is number seven, Titan Temper. I expect a good run from Titan Temper. And I'm taking number seven, Titan Temper, to, to win this event, to get the better of number four, Affair. My third choice is number two, Undisclosed Location. And my fourth choice is number three, Goodbye, Firefly. So there we have it for the fourth race racing fans here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard TV. And please remember to press the notification so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share, like and share this YouTube channel on Yard TV. This is Race Day Preview from Yard TV. We'll be back in a jiffy.
Welcome back to Race Bay Preview on YRB TV. As I say, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and on YRB TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you'll be notified. Okay, moving right along to the fifth event on Derby Day. They go five furlong straight. It's a made a condition race for native bred, three year old, seven declare. Please make note number two, Bobby Too Bad is a scratch. Bobby Too Bad is out of the fifth race. The number one bushfire is very well, is well bred. This horse is bred for speed. This first time runner by Shackerville out of Forest Flame by Forest Danger is bred for speed and could be anything. Keep this horse on the right side. This horse has been working very well. We see on Saturday, the 20th of the seven get up seven furlong, one third of four three. Monday, the 29th of the seven, five furlong, one minute, four and three, fifth of a second. 13th of July, year, gallop four furlong, 49 second flat by one minute, three and three. This horse seems to be of ability, and based on his pedigree, this horse is bred for speed. Number three, the general year, this horse is somewhat of a disappointment, has been put down by the trainer, and has been reprogrammed for it, is in reintroduction year. The last time we saw this horse was on the 28th of April, when third beaten three lengths behind Princess Emma year, and this, the general, based on what I'm seeing, it is time of one minute one, one minute one and one fifth of a second is the fastest in the line of none of these horses in this race has ever run so fast he general seems to be a 10 star banker number five number four share the jaw is is um they're boxing out there are there about well we will is need still need more time number five social mischief is very fit just now fifth by ten lengths behind trust one babe and trust one babe was a seven length winner just one babe went up in class and won once again so based on that performance social mischief will have a fighting chance and he could be the danger to number three the general number Seven Glenroy is run to decent form, but I think the competition here, I think Glenroy will have to give you up to win this event. But get Glenroy will be there about at the business end without actually winning. I think the race is between number three, the general, and number five, social mischief here. But based on what I'm seeing, we do not know how good this number one bushfire is, so we have to keep this horse on the right side. But for me, based on who has already run, the general get get my vote to get the better of social mischief my third choice is number five number one sorry bushfire who's a after wildfire who love the street and my fourth choice and my fourth choice is number four share the jaw really not francine glenroy to win this event moving right along to the sixth event and we see they go Seven furlong with strict allowance, three native bred, four year one and up, none of four and imported, four year one up, none of three, and we have 12 declared. They go seven furlongs. Number one, Onsman has been working very well for this race. We see this horse is, has been busy on the exercise track since his last run on the, the 14th of July, has been busy from the 18th, go right down back to the 27th of July. We see he did a bullet work over five and a half furlongs on the 27th of July, one minute, nine and three fifths of a second for five and a half furlongs. We'll enjoy this. Race has been reprogrammed by the trainer Gary Griffiths. Rather showman is the iron. I expect Huntsman to make no mistake come tomorrow afternoon. Very, very competitive race. Though number two, California Gold is we have to keep this horse on the right side. And California Gold here, yeah, yeah, won't have a problem getting this summer furlongs here. Showgirl will be on the headline, but not fancy the showgirl to hang around. Joran Barbarossa, yeah. Is in the iron. This jockey is riding in the United States of America. So this jockey he can ride. Number four, Bose will have it difficult over seven furlong against these. Number five, Antarctica, the horse with the tactical speed here. And Antarctica could be tracking the speed if there's any speed, or could set off in front and make every pole the winning one. Keep Antarctica on the right side, a mere 50 kilo. Number six, Noble Attitude by Noble Bird by Sheer Attitude by Clever Trick. This horse is bent to get the trip of seven furlongs here. Won't get in seven furlongs, won't be an issue here with a mere 49 kilos. 
keep noble attitude on the right side and this noble attitude could be the flying joint man number seven super alex here run a blinder on last was beaten out of it by allegiance here and company here this all super alex here is very fit and must be kept on the right side number eight brown skin girl not fancied against these number nine loyal action will be on the headline number 10 wins princess with is up in grade will have to giddy up to win this number 11 wow wow my idea of the winner i'm here 48 kilos we're very very light this wow how this wow how here and if the speed collapse here a mere 48 kilo look no further than wow how number 12 easy peasy will be on the headline too and this easy piece is very fast up in grade here and it's very fit we have to keep this horse on the right side we have to respect easy peasy in this race but for me i'm taking number 11 wow how in this very competitive i'm taking sorry number one huntsman in this very competitive race to get the better of the dangerous wow how my third choice is number five antarctica and my fourth choice is number seven super alex here moving right along to the seventh event on the derby day card is restricted allowance four for native bread four year one and up donors of three and imported four year one and up donors of two seven declare they go five furlongs straight. Number one, Uncle Nob has been tuned to the minute by the trainer. The fastest horse, horse in the lineup here. Fastest horse in the lineup has changed table, taking order from Vic, Victor Williams. Even though the trainer stats is poor, four and all for the season, Uncle Nob is the fastest in the lineup. But there's still a question sign. We are because the trainer starts four and oh, but he's the fastest, he's been tuned to the minute. Expect Uncle Nob to go in front and prove very difficult to beat. Number two, blinking light will be there about. Radish Roman is in the iron. Keep blinking light on the right side. Kismet not fancied against these. Number four, here yeah, that is superior. Enjoy the five furlong straight has been reprogrammed by Ian Robert, who is eight and oh, here. Yeah. This superior love the five furlong straight. Number five, golden syrup has been working very well. Well, enjoy the five furlong straight. One out of the straight, getting the better of Dan Pablo and company. So this golden syrup will run a good race come tomorrow afternoon. Number six, Edge Fund. They call for Canterman, Shane the Canterman Ellis to ride this horse. Keep this horse on the right side. While number seven, Empress Ling, if they go too fast, too early, could be closing very fast. This race. A very wide open race. If number one, Uncle Nob doesn't all is gallop in this event because Uncle Nob is the speediest in the lineup, the fastest horse in the lineup, well, the race will let what left wide open. So Uncle Nob get the bet to get the better of number five, Golden Syrup, number four, Sapiro, and number seven, Empress Link. The eighth event on Derby Day program is the Restricted Allowance 3 for native bred four year one well, up numbers of four and imported four year one well, up numbers of three. And we have seven declared. Number one, Box Box will enjoy every inch of this five furlong straight, has been working exceptionally well on the exercise track. And I think is the horse they will all have to beat, even though I'm not fancy in Box Box in my top two. He's my third choice. Number two, City Hawk, not fancied against these. Number three, Legit Boss. If the right Legit Boss, ter box, boss turn up, Legit Boss will be there at the business end. Number four, Fly Blue Jet, somewhat of a disappointment, but enjoy the straight and could be there coming home in deep stretch. Number five, Mrs. Linders was a runaway winner. Up in grade, we'll have to giddy up to have a chance against these. While number six, Elder Fortinada, is my idea of the winner at a good price come tomorrow afternoon. Number seven, KD Strong, love the straight and will be come running on. Keep KD Strong on the right side. This is the money race. And this is where I'm taking number six, Ella Fortunada, to win at a decent price of about six or seven to one to get the better of number seven, KD Strong. My third choice, number one, Box Box. And my fourth choice, number three, Legit Boss. Moving right along, the ninth event is the Restricted Allowance four, 5, sorry, for native bred four year one up runs of two and imported four year one up maiden, 10 declare six furlongs they go 
number one man slam was beaten fought by three length on his way to victory and actually was hampered badly at the furlong pole nearly dislodged the rider man slam is the fastest in the lineup and if comes out of the gate cleanly man slam will be very difficult to beat the race will be done and dusted for the from the first two furlongs number two princess ifia is up in class not fan if I had nothing fancy there, number four, Joe Blaine uh, doesn't possess the speed here, but will be come running on. Keep this horse on the right side. Number five, Sir Wang Dong. This horse has been looking up at exercise since change table, taking order from Al, 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 um, Alford Brown. Now, keep this horse, Sir Wang Dong, on the right side. Number six, workout crew to be trained by, to be is trained by Peter McMaster, written by Roddy Showman, is said to be of ability, but not fancying him come tomorrow afternoon. Sky Rizzi and Miss Linton not fancied, while number nine, Simple Sensational, has been working exceptionally well for this race, and this also will be bandy at the business end, while number 10, the disappointed Princess Ikila, this also we have to keep the sauce on the right side. But this race, a very competitive event, but Man Slam, get the nod, to get the better of number four job lane my third choice is number 10 that's princess akila and my fourth choice is number nine that's simply sensation sensational the tenth and penultimate event that is the race before the derby they go seven and a half furlongs or 1700 meters for overnight allowance three year old and up Emilia Bimbo Rodriguez trophy 10 declare number one major danger a winner in one minute 26 and two very competitive against these major danger could make it two in a row very easily also number two no more deal not fancy there number three power from above will be closing like a runaway train in deep stretch keep the sauce on the right side number four Four Laban, not the force of yesteryear, not fancy in Laban against these. Number five, all for love coming off a rest here will be there at the business end when this is being decided. Number six, that's Atlantic Convoy was beaten out of it, coming seven, eight furlongs. Will enjoy the reduction in trip here. Keep Atlantic Convoy on the right side. Number seven, Anika Bell is biting off more than she can chew. While number eight, Sunset Silhouette, not fancied against these. Number nine, the horse they will all have to be in Sistine Judge. Keep Sistine Judge on the right side. And Money Monster here could pick up a piece of the, of, of the pie for the exotics. But I'm taking number nine, Sistream Treasure, to get the better of number six, Atlantic Convoy. Number one, the very fit, Manger Danger. And number three, that's Power from Above. So there we have it, Racing Fans. Race Day Preview. A look at the Derby Day edition of Race Day Preview. Thank you for tuning in to YRB TV. Let us go over the selection here on Derby Day program. And I'm asking you guys, remember to watch the advertisement and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. The first event on the card, we are taking number four, Brinks, to get the better of number nine, KP's Choice, number five, that's Rani Bangala, and number two, Big Big Daddy. The second event, I'm taking number six, J Speck, to get the better of number five, Unbelievable Force, and number three, Battle Angel. The third event, I'm taking number one, Tiffany Blue, to get the better of number six, Immeasurable Joy, and number three, Never. The fourth event, I'm taking number seven, Titan Temple, to get the better of number four, Affair, number two, Undisclosed Location, and number three, Goodbye Firefly. The fifth event, I'm taking number three, that's the general, my firm choice to win this event, to get the better of social mischief, number one, bushfire, and number four, share the jaw. Moving right along, the selection for race number six. I'm taking number one, Huntsman, to get the better of the very dangerous and very light. Wow, how? Not my third choice is number five, Antarctica. 
And my fourth choice is number six, the very fit and improving Super Alex. The seventh event, I'm taking Uncle Nob to make all to get the better of number five, Golden Syrup, number four, Superior, and number seven, that's Empress Link. The eighth event, I'm taking number six, that's Ella Fortunata to create an upset to get the better of number seven, KD Strong, number one, Box Box, and number three, Legit Box. This is the money race. The ninth event on the 10 race card here, I'm taking number one, Man Islam, to make all, to get the better of number four, Joe Blaine, number 10, Princess Aquila, and number nine, we see that simple sensational. And the 10th and penultimate race, that's the race before the 104th running of the Jamaica Derby. I'm taking number 10. I'm take, sorry, I'm taking number nine. That's Sistrine Treasure to get the better of number six, Atlantic Convoy, number one, Major Danger, and number three, Power From Above. And the 10th and final event, 11th and final event, the Jamaica Derby. Here, yeah. I'm taking number six, interesting time ahead, to get the better of number three, Run Julie Run, number two, Crown Chaser, and my fourth choice in the Jamaica Derby is number 11, Captain Sparrow. The winner will come from this group. So there we have it, racing fan, race day preview. I look at the running, the, the runners for the Derby, the Derby edition of race day preview. Hope you enjoyed it, this Derby edition of the race day, day, day preview. Thank you very much for tuning in to YLB. Please leave a comment in the comment section. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, YLB TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. Thank you very much for tuning in to Yardbeat Grace Day Preview on Yardbeat TV. Best of luck now and happy hunting.